Hello one and all and welcome to the Train Simulator Races. This is your host Sparky129 and here we have a selection of great engines ready for the race. Now being that it's Train Simulator and not Train Sim World that I've played before, I don't know how to um, change the engines in there much. I've decided to do Train Simulator and start with the steam engines that I do have and here you can see all of them. So what we're going to do now is to move up all the ones from the way that it's set up that have not got any opponents. So that'll be Tornado moving up, that'll be Big Boy moving up, that will be the standard dock tank moving up, there's also a um, different one. Mallard's going to move up, 4F is going to move up, and Nanny Castle is going to move up. So now we will switch to the game. And here you can see me setting the engines up while getting the right camera angle. First we will be setting up the... Ah, the Hall class, that's right. The Hall class will be set up first. That'll be on track 1 heading to platform 11, because that's how I've labelled my platforms. Then next up will be the King class. There it is. I like the BR Blue of it better. That's why I chose that. have to turn the tender around as well, just like the engine, just like I had to do with the whole class. And give it that. And now I have to get to the programming, but first, I guess I'm putting a class 101 out first. And now I get to the programming part. So, so service 1 is going to go to platform 11, because that's how I've numbered my stuff. Service 2 will be going to platform 13, when I get to it. Yep, there you are. And they're all doing 100% power, by the way, the two engines. Not worrying about the class 101, because that won't be in this race. And here they are, racing. Ooh, the King class has got a fast start. A bit fast. Oh, actually, never mind. They're both at the same moment, but um, I do know that the King class will be speeding up. So let's see that in action. Oh, here they are, about to pass each up past the camera. And yes, the King class has a significant lead right now. But that will be even more of a gap later on. And the King class has just entered the corner, going around first to the left and then heading around in a U-turn to the right, with the Hall class entering just now. There goes the King class, and here's the Hall class, lagging behind just a bit. Here's the King class going past the camera. There it goes! And the Hall class is not too far behind, but it is getting distance away from the King class, which isn't good. It's never good, is it? Let us go to near the end of the corner, where it's a weird squiggly line before a straight. Don't ask. There's the whole class. Like I said, it's gaining distance. Here's the King class entering the squiggly part. The whole class is going to as well very soon. And here it is at speed. The King class built for power and speed on the Great Western. Here's the whole class built for some sort of power. I assume freight, but I haven't done my research much. And the King class is now on the straight and going faster and faster. Also these corners that I've made for this race, they are um, basically very tight, so anything over a hundred miles per hour is going to tip over. Here it comes, going as fast as it can, but not going to beat the King class at this point. Let us move on to one of the longer straights. Here's the King class again, perfect. As you can see, it's a very long straight, but the straight coming back is even longer. No, I take that back, this is the longest straight. I keep forgetting. 
Oh, there's the steam from the King class as it enters the corner in clear lead. A clear lead by the King class. Off it goes. And now waiting for the whole class, which is a significant distance away. Oh, it's coming. And here's the whole class entering the curve. Flying Scotsman's Curve. Here's King Class almost finishing the curve. Quite a distance away from them, don't you think? And King Class would have exited the curve now onto the straight, while the whole class is clearly still on the curve. Here's the King Class entering Stepney's Corner. And there it goes. Clearly in first place. It knows it's going to win. It has no doubt about it. But the poor Hall class, it's struggling to catch up. In fact, it's not catching up. It's just getting further and further behind. Anyway, the King class has entered the corner already. And off it goes. Excellent. While wow, the whole class is just about to en to exit this curve and onto Stepney's Strait. I don't know, I should come up with better names for these things, shouldn't I? The King class had a clear advantage, the whole class definitely being left behind. There's the whole class. Poor thing, it's lagging behind so badly now. Ah oh dear, the Hall class is really lacking the power to catch up with the King class. How sad. Here is the final corner that's and that I'm calling it the Winner's Corner because it'll lead exactly to the end. The King class is very far away but it'll definitely getting closer by the second with the Hall class nowhere in sight. Alright, the King class is entering the final corner right about now. Here it is on its victory curve. Clearly knowing it's the winner of the race with the Hall class way in the distance. Ah, oh, poor Hall class. And here's the Hall class entering the curve, the final corner. For him, it'll be the loser's curve, because he is clearly not winning. Where's the king class gone? Oh, it's about halfway through. Nice. Here it goes, chuffing past. At full speed or thereabouts. As it almost finishes the curve. Here's the final straight all the way to the end. And it finishes close to where it started. Here's the King class that just exited the corner on its way down its final straight towards victory. Now, like a certain YouTuber does, I'm going to do my rule as the first engine to stop moving is the winner. Otherwise, I would have set the race up differently, but that's how I want to go with. So, it almost seems like the King class is starting to slow down now on the final straight, on the final part of the straight. Oh, the Hall class has exited the cur curve. Ooh, very nice. Oh, the end is in sight. Is the Hall class going to catch up? Or is the King class going to be the official winner? Here comes the King class, slowing down at the very end. The King Class is the clear winner. It has won this round. And it'll move on towards the finals. While poor Hall Class is left in the dust. Oh, we can hear it. There it is. There's the Hall Class arriving in last place. Which is second place in this game. And there we go. King Class is the winner, and we'll move on to the next round. Now for a victory lap. Off 
we go. Oh, there's some victory whistling. Let's get a shot of the end, shall we? And here's the King class at the end of its victory lap. Will we see what happens to it? Oh, it'll be anyone's guess. Oh, it's coming a bit too fast. Oh no, it's gonna crash! <laughs>